Well that was depressing. I didn't expect for my previous video to resonate with quite so many people and in such a strong negative way. It seems a lot of you think that the good times are behind you, and I don't think that's true. It is if you're expecting the future to be the same as the past, but repeated, and I think that's where the problem lies. It's all too easy to stick with what you know, and to remain there for too long. I centred that video around multiplayer gaming, but it equally applies to my experience with single player games, and with other hobbies of mine, and even with mundane daily routines that I find myself drifting in and out of. And perhaps I should have used those things instead, because the problem and solution to those things is more immediately apparent. My experience with single player games follows a predictable cycle. It takes a while to get into them, during which time I'm tempted to give up, and just to return to what I was playing before. But then I break through, and for a while I really enjoy playing this new game, to the point where I can't imagine playing anything else. But eventually my interest in it starts to fade, and I get less and less enjoyment from playing it, and the day eventually comes when it isn't worth doing any more. The difficulty is in identifying when that moment is, and when it's time to move on. With some games, I complete them and then I move on. I did that with Subnautica, I did that with Doom Eternal. Both of these games took some time to get into, but once I was, I was hooked right through to the end. But because I left them when they ended, I've left them with nothing but fond memories, and a gaming experience that I know I could quite happily return to if I didn't have anything else to do. But I don't return to them. And that's the healthy way of playing games. But with some, like the Star Wars game I've been playing recently, I decided to replay it instead. It's one of those games that rewards you for getting better at it, and I quite enjoyed returning to earlier levels again and kicking the asses of the enemies who made it so difficult for me first time around, but it has meant that I've let myself get bored of the game. Rather than letting the game's end dictate when I move on to something else, I've got myself stuck in an endless loop until I've grown bored of it. And then I wonder why I don't enjoy gaming anymore. And that's where the problem lies. You don't want things to outstay their welcome, which games inevitably do these days. Multiplayer games have always been about grinding away at something with no end goal to reach. Even single player games are getting grindier, well they'll get regular new content and challenges to try and keep you coming back time and time again. Is it any wonder that we're getting bored of them? Especially with time going faster than it used to. That really skews my perception of how long I've spent playing games. Look back at your childhood games and seriously ask yourself, how long did you play those games for? Because in my mind I spent hundreds of hours exploring Lara Croft's mansion, but did I really? In reality, maybe I spent a dozen hours there. Twenty, perhaps. My memories of it are vivid, but I probably only completed the Assault Course, the Hedge Maze or the Quad Bike segment a handful of times. I imagine I played Counter-Strike Source for a long time, but it was only for three years, compared with the nine that I've played CSGO for so far. That's an incredible difference! Yet from my memories of both, I could have sworn that I spent more time in Counter-Strike Source, which was a game I played casually with friends after school, than I've spent in CSGO, which is a game that I've made a full-time career from. Back in the day, a game would get a sequel after a few years, but Grand Theft Auto V has now spanned three console generations, and Skyrim's as old now as Morrowind was when Skyrim first came out. So yeah, maybe if you find yourself getting more bored of games than you used to, then perhaps it's because you've spent far more time on them than you think you have. While that game you thought you spent your entire childhood playing, you actually only played part time for a year until the next one came out. If you ask me, the idea of sticking with the same game for months and months is weird. Older games used to be a series of levels, and then they were done. And it's refreshing to be able to return to those sorts of games, where you can just pick them up and complete them in a single day. These are games that don't demand you unlock achievements, or to endlessly grind it for one reason or another. They simply exist for you to play, and if you enjoy it, you replay them again. And I'll be honest, I've always got bored of games. I might have fond memories of Tomb Raider 2, but that didn't stop me from buying Tomb Raider 3. I might not spend as much time exploring the first level of a game as I used to, but I sure as hell am better at sticking with them till the end. But I don't think this is the problem. I think your problem is how you react when you finally get bored of something. When I was a child I couldn't wait to move on to a new game. I just couldn't, because that would have meant buying it and I didn't have any money. These days it's the opposite problem. I have a thousand unplayed games to choose from, but can't be bothered with any of them. So here I am, just loading up the same game again and again out of habit, because it's less effort than having to get into something new. So getting back to my first video again, I didn't mean for it to be negative. It was intended as a bittersweet celebration of nostalgia, but you can't dwell on such things. You should enjoy them at the time, and then should treasure the memories fondly, but never stop looking forward, and never stop trying new things. And I might have been wrong about it. A lot of the people I hung out with saw that video and have got back in touch. Apparently they miss those gaming sessions too. We even had a few matches of Age of Empires 2 again, and hung around talking afterwards. So maybe it is possible to relive those old times again. 
but only in moderation. I know that if we do this every night, then the same thing will happen. Sooner rather than later. But maybe, if we keep it as something we do once in a while, it could remain something fun. Something to look forward to. But I won't pin all my hopes and dreams on that one thing again. I want to ensure that my life is made up of lots of different experiences, and that I'm always open to trying more. And don't just take it from me. As Einstein once said, variety is the spice of life.